What's up, you guys? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we're going to be doing another job. This is going to be the second job of the day. If you guys missed the first video, I'll try to link it up in the comment section in the description below. However, we are going to be doing a driveway. This is a return customer. If you guys want to see how I keep up with customers, check out my links below. I have a CRM link. We are about to break out the equipment quick little driveway cleaning and then we're gonna hop out of here and go do a big quote so uh let's go ahead and get going what is up everybody my name is justin this is forever self-employed in today's video we're gonna be doing a pressure washing job recap before i get into that though i want to give a big shout out to the 9300 people who have hit that bell icon if you haven't already be sure to hit that so that way you're notified whenever i post a new video uh, but in this one we're just going to be doing a simple driveway cleaning uh, and the customer also wanted the garage floor done as well so uh, this is my fourth time doing this lady's house uh, or driveway rather she has called me a uh, four years in a row. I originally got this job off of a flyer. And if you guys are interested in the flyer strategy that I use, be sure to click the first link in the comment section and the description. However, every time that I've gone to do this lady's house, she's always wanted me to do the garage floor as well, but she's always had stuff in there. So I guess the stuff belonged to her son. Uh, he wouldn't move it for whatever reason. And I believe this car actually belongs to her son as well. Um, and she said that the engine blew up. Me and Billy actually tried to move the car. Uh, we were unsuccessful. Um, however, I, she's wanted me to wash the garage floors for so long. Um, she just said, go ahead and do it no matter what stuff is in the way. I told her the stuff would get wet. She didn't really care. So um, I just did my best to wash the whole garage floor, even though she had stuff in the corner of it. As well as she called me a week before that we did this job and she said there is a car in the driveway. I told her I could do my best to wash around it and she said that would be okay as well. So in this video, uh, it's nothing perfect, not a perfect job by any means, but we're gonna do our absolute best for the customer. Um, she just had a few things in the way this time, not a big deal. So basically, customers that we get are the best customers to keep. I don't know if you guys have watched The Office, but uh, there's a quote in The Office that says, that is 10 times more ex expensive to sign on a new customer than to keep an existing customer. And that probably couldn't be any more true because of customer acquisition costs. Um, if you guys do know what that means, it's basically your advertising costs. So if you continue to keep a recurring customer, you have to spend no more money advertising to keep them. So. In order to cut down our customer acquisition costs, we want to be sure that we are keeping up with all of our customers. If you guys need a better way to keep up with your customers, I have a link down below in the comment section description to a free CRM trial. It allows you to keep all your customers in one place. It helps you to send invoices and collect payments. So um, just go ahead and check that out. It's the same one that I use. Uh, it's It works well. So it helps me to keep up with clients such as this. Um, now, I did get this job off of a flyer probably about four years ago, like I said. Um, it's been a recurring customer for me. The thing about flyers is it's definitely a volume game. So uh, it's a good way to, to go if you're just starting out and you wanna be sure that you're very targeted with your ad spend. However, if you do have ad spend for Facebook, I'd highly recommend that as well. And if you guys do wanna know how I land jobs on Facebook, like I said, first link in the comment section and the description. It's got my flyer strategy as well as uh, my Facebook strategy in there. Um, but yeah, basically, if you're just starting out, flyers are a good way to go. You want to be targeted with them, though. Uh, you want to hit good neighborhoods. You want to have a lot of volume. Um, you want to be sure that they have some key things in there. I wouldn't just go, you know ripping whatever you can find off the internet off because people can tell whenever it's just kind of a botched job that you did with your flyer so take your time make them look good try to find some examples online um just do your due diligence so um i'm working on a video right now it's going to be everything that you need to know to start a pressure washing business in 2021 if you guys have any beginner questions, please leave them down below. I'm going to pretty much be covering all the bases on this one. So um, what you need as far as um, license and insurance, equipment that you need, um, chemicals for beginners, as well as um, some a, a few other things with regards to getting leads, um, just a few of the baseline knowledge type things. So if you guys have any kind of questions pertaining to how you can start a pressure washing business in 2021, be sure to leave those down below and I'll try to incorporate them into the video. Maybe I'll have a whole Q&A section at the end um, that I include your questions. So uh, we actually did a quote off after we finished this job um, off of a Facebook lead that I landed um, and we actually landed the job. So we're gonna be going to do that one tomorrow so i want to make sure that i went ahead and um, edited this video and got it posted for you guys if you guys haven't seen the first part of it be sure to go check that out i did a garage floor before i came out and did this one i actually did a part two to that video where i ended up 
semi breaking the garage door. I think a few people um, were kind of mad at me because I said I broke the garage door. I popped a breaker, which was able to be fixed. However, when the lady called me, she said the garage door was broken. So you can imagine how I felt when I got that call. So I basically made a video putting together all the protocols that you guys need to follow when doing garage floor. So be sure to check that out, but I'm gonna turn it back over to myself now. All right, you guys, we are headed out now. Uh, just finished up the second job of the day. It was super quick, probably about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, get everything done. Rolling out now, got the, got the cash in hand. We're gonna go get some lunch and uh, we got another bid to go do. If you guys made this far in the video, Billy, what's your word of the day be? So the word of the day is going to be Zaxby's because that's what I've been craving all day. There we go. The word of the day is Zaxby's. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment that down below and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and we will catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, hustle hard get that money, baby. Peace.